Hey guys, remember when I told you I want to show you how to do my famous tip in acrylic bracelets? And I would like for you guys to try and do it over the weekend. Um, if you like, um, I really would like you to see your creativity with this. It's very easy. Um, what it is, it's the tips. So what happened is you're going to take a tip, actually two tips, but you want the tips to have a curve. You need the curve because you, make, you need to make that circle, okay? So you have the tip, and then the back of the tip where you have the, the C curve, okay? I'm gonna glue the part of the tip where I'm gonna put the other tip on. So I'm gonna take the back end, and I'm gonna put it about a quarter of the nail to half of the nail. Never put it at the 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 very tip of the nail okay hold it for about five five seconds five to ten seconds see how you get that little curl already now i'm going to do another one place the glue there get my other tip with the free place it about a quarter of that tip for about five to ten seconds Let it go and see how I have that curve. Okay, now on this one I use the number one tip because I want a wide band. If you want your band to be wide, you go with a bigger tip. If you want a thinner band, you go with a smaller tip. I don't think this, I think the smallest I would go is probably a number six. Okay, so let's try one more. I usually do between 9 and 11 tips. It depends on how big, you know, you want your bracelet. Again, put it like a quarter of the nail. Okay, so I didn't want to draw the video, so I did one, a full one, before I started the video. So I'm going to put the last tip. I want to show you how I put the last tip and close it. So I do the same thing. Place the tip for about 5 to 10 seconds. So now I have this. I'm ready to close my tip. So, you have the tip, and then you have the C curve. I'm going to put the glue. Place my tip again, about half, a quarter of the way, and close it. And there's my bracelet. Okay? Now, on the bracelet, when you're going from tip to tip, on the C curve, some on some of them, you will have a little edge. What you're gonna do is take your drill and you're just gonna clean up the edges. Whatever you see hanging out, you're just gonna clean it up. Make it even. I'm gonna clean it up. Just take it off. Okay. Wherever you see it, just gonna clean it up. Just take that wing off, the wing from the C curve, so that you have a smooth on the side. Okay, so after you get that clean surface all the way around, you want to go ahead now and put the acrylic on the top of your bracelet. See?
You want to make it as smooth as you can. If you don't make it so smooth, that's fine because you're going to drill it anyway. But you want to, you know, you still want less time working on it. So See? So on your bracelet, you want acrylic on top, you want acrylic inside. Okay, after that, when it dries completely, you're just gonna take a file and smooth it out, file out everything, take your drill, drill down everything, make sure everything on the inside is smooth, make sure everything on the outside is smooth, make sure your sides are smooth. Okay, when you finish, then you want to go ahead and polish your, your bracelet. You want to do um, gel polish if you want, um, any type of embellishments you want. If you want to put um, little hearts in a 3D, you can put 3D on it. You can do foil if you want. You can even do a chrome bracelet if you want. That's a good idea if you want to do a chrome. If you, Again, if you have color acrylic, Instead of putting like any color acrylic on here, you can use your color acrylic because I know you guys do custom blends and that will look really nice to, um, to do. If you, this one I did was a color tip. So if you have color tips, you can also just do color tips but put clear acrylic on the top and clear acrylic inside so you can keep the color. Okay, so um, basically, that's it, you know, how thin you want your bracelet, how thick you want your bracelet. Make sure and just get your, your circle um, complete. Um, buff it down, clean up everything, polish it. And then if you want embellishments, um, put a thin coat of the acrylic, go ahead and put your embellishments and then go ahead and put another top of acrylic. Okay guys, so it's very, very easy. This is something for you to do over the weekend if you want. It's a, it's a lot of fun. And, it, and you have to be very creative. And I would love to see just how creative you guys can be this weekend. Okay? Um, when you finish, um, text it to me. Um, send it to my WhatsApp. And um, enjoy. What can I say? Enjoy. You guys are very creative. And I know you guys have this. You got it. Okay? Talk to you soon.